Welcome everybody to Red G Fox. Okay, so today we were talking about Fun Fact Friday, and it is one of my favorite people, right? We don't, we'll do characters and actors. Today it's the actor, and that is Gregory Sierra, who played the amazing Julio Fuentes. Bye. He Julio has to go down number one as the kindest character in show history. Um, he, no matter how many times Fred is mean to him, he always tries to be patient. He's always so giving and you're always feeling like, Fred, why can't you just be nice to this guy? Uh, but that's what makes their chemistry in the show so great. So Gregory Sierra, we're going to cover a whole bunch of things on him. We'll hit up shows he did, uh, what it was like on Sanford and Son, his best, maybe possibly my favorite, some of his biggest moments on Sanford and Son, and a whole bunch of things about how he got to be where he was. So before we get started, be sure you like, give a like if you enjoy any part of this video. Be sure to subscribe and continue to help our channel grow and always be on the lookout for polls and other fun fact Fridays and quizzes and geez, we got so many things coming. What's that episode Wednesday? Uh, finish that line Friday, which is coming on today. Find it later in the afternoon. So very active channel and very appreciative of all the fans who join in and comment and quote the lines. So anyways, without further ado, let's get to this. Gregory Sierra, who played Julio Fuentes. Now, he is Puerto Rican descent, just like on the show. He actually is Puerto Rican descent. He was born January 25th, 1937. And he was he lived to be 83 years old. He just passed away. He was just a few weeks away from his 84th birthday. So he lived uh, a great long life and full of so many memorable characters and appearances on other shows, which we will cover. But yeah, let's get married. Now, he was married three times. The sad thing is his second marriage, uh, his wife after two years passed away. So, you know, it wasn't like he divorced like his first one. Then he remarried a third time later on and they stayed together. His name is actually, his full name is Gregory Joseph Sierra. He was born in Manhattan. And we talk about how, remember how Fred's always like, oh, they came to Manhattan, Harlem. All, he's always bringing up, and a lot of this is actually true with uh, Gregory Sierra's background. Born in Manhattan, he was raised in, a Span in Spanish Harlem. And by his aunt, his parents, they really didn't have anything much to do with him as far as raising and taking care of him. His aunt is the one who took care of him. This is what I love. We've had other people comment like, it's so great to hear, uh, like how we did it on Don Bexley about some of these people or whoever in the show, uh, Damon Wilson, how they served. They actually served in our armed forces. And Gregory Sierra, he served in the Air Force. So he went out. Thank you very much, Gregory. When he returned... His friend was like, hey, you know what? I'm going for this audition at a uh, like a acting an acting school, and why don't you come with me? You know, you could try out. What, why not? But he was the one who wanted to go, so they both go to it. And while they're there, he does, and he does a couple of these uh, improvisations. And Gregory actually did so well that the school admitted him and not his friend. So isn't, isn't that crazy how sometimes you see that? Look it up. I think John something like that happened with John Candy where he tried out at something. And I can't remember if, if he didn't really think he'd get it and he made it. Into, so it's so fun to see these actors or these comedians go on to these things. And sometimes they're not even meant, you know, really trying. And they end up getting it because they're so naturally gifted and talented, just as Gregory Sierra was, as we see in his career, everything that he did. So he got the part. I wonder what happened to his friend. Who was his friend? That's another one I would like to know. I couldn't find out when I looked. He started in stage, of course, like, you know, acting, doing the improvisation. Started in stage. His first big one was King John in New York. That's the name of the play, King John. And it was in New York we performed. We always hear a lot of these people, uh, including Red Fox, Don Bexley, where they started in New York or uh, sometimes in, in L.A. Or they, then they all migrate to L.A. And that's what happened here. He did some other stage work. And then Gregory Sierra moved out in the late 60s to Los Angeles to try to Im get into film and television. He's, uh, so he moved to L.A. And as far as movies goes, he did. We've heard a lot of these movies, The Flying Nun. I believe that's the same one with... Uh, wasn't it the same actress who played the TV show one, which was Sally Fields? Either way, he was in The Flying Nun. He did Beneath the Planet of the Apes. I don't remember some of the... I know the original Planet of the Apes. After that, there were so many. I mean, if it was on KTLA, Channel 5, you know, that if you're local, where I live out here in California. But it's like, I remember seeing it on there a lot, but I don't know. I mean, they're all... Either way, he was on Beneath the Planet of the Apes. Uh, Papillon, I don't know what that is. The, the Towering Inferno, I've heard of that. Remember a lot of the disaster movies, which were big at that time in the 70s. And he did a several other movies that I never heard of. But So he had been in some movies that were, like we said, like The Towering Inferno or The Flying Nun, something we've heard of early in his career. 
Now, this is when it gets good. He guest stars in an episode of All in the Family. And we know the connection All in the Family has with Sanford and Son, but he guest stars in All the Family and he plays a person named Paul Benjamin. I've not seen this episode, but when I read about it, I was like, man, that's intense for a comedy series. Now, I know All in the Family is comedy, but it does tackle a lot of serious uh, issues that had to do with uh, race and all sorts of other bigotry. So in this episode, he is a Jewish activist named Paul Benjamin. And in that, he helps the bunkers who have uh, some other neo-Nazis had spray painted, I guess, on his door, a swastika and there was other hateful stuff. And he helps try to stop them, put it into it. Well, what happens is the neo-Nazis find out who he is and they plant a bomb in his car and it blows up and he actually dies in all in the family. So that sounds like a real intense episode for a series that's taken for comedy, but it, you know, you didn't see that in Sanford and Son. You might see a scene here and there, but it wasn't like that in Sanford and Son. All the family seems like it took other steps when it comes to that, but that's pretty good. So when he gets to that, now he's going to get to Sanford and Son. Before that, though, this is some other things. We'll list that because I like to talk more about our favorite Sanford and Son with Julio. He guest starred. We did All in the Family. Oh, wait, before we get to the shows, yeah, let's just do it. In between 72 and 75, so for three seasons, he moves in and he's Julio Fuentes, one of the kindest, like I said, one of the best characters in show history. Uh, I have a soft spot always for Melvin, uh, Grady. I've actually learned to, I've always loved Bubba, but doing our last video, go watch it if you haven't seen it, where we break down with Don Bexley. I have a newfound respect just for the actor himself. I've always liked Gregory Sierra because I'd seen him in so many, Murder, She Wrote, we'll cover that. One show they left off on when you look him up and I'm like, how dare you leave that off? But we'll get to it. Played Julio. Anything with Chico. So as we see with Julio, let's get to probably my top three that I can think of moments on here. The first one is when he moves in, right? And he's new to the neighborhood and he's like, you know, there's all that noise and Fred's like, there it goes again. And he's flipping out and we're not going to do episode breakdown, but I'm going to just cover some of the quick highlights on it. But as he gets to it, he's so upset at this new neighbor and Julio comes over and he's like, ah, you know, and he's patting his chest like, hey, forgive me. He's like, here I am, a new neighbor. Uh, I just make a lot of noise. I don't introduce myself. The kindest person. And then Fred still, remember, he tries to give him the cheese. No, nah, I won't take it. And he's like, you won't. And then he calls him a sangano. You're a sangano. You're a big dummy. And, they, and it's such a great scene to where you see Julio is uh, pissed now. He's upset, and which is rare. And then he still tries to become Fred's friend multiple times. And it ends so well where they both, he makes his, uh, remember, uh, pig knuckle. He makes everything he loves, soul food. And, and Fred's actually like, man, I don't know you. And he learned how to make it Harlem. And then Fred comes with the best line. He's like, you know what? If there, were, if there were more people like you, Harlem would be a paradise. <laughs> it's such a great ending. And it's kind of like they forget about it, which sucks. They move on the next episode and he's already grouchy at him again. But it seemed like he never had that much hatred as he did the first episode. They were never really friends here and there. They might do a, a comment here and there. They get along unless he was trying to sell him a TV. But that was a great ending and a great introduction to Julio. Then the next time we see him, or the next favorite episode part with Julio is where they do the... Uh, they do the commercial together, right? They join up. They don't want to. And throughout the episode, you see where uh, he's like, Mr. Stanford. And he's like, call me Mr. Stanford, not Fred. And then he goes, you know, you're like my, my dad. You have a good head. You know, he's a good eye for business. And he's all, call me Fred. <laughs> he's now, he's his buddy. And then every time a mom gets mad at him, Julio's like, hey, don't get mad at my partner, man. Lee, he's my partner. And he's like, yeah, but he's my dad first. It's so good how they keep going in that cycle. And then at the end, they're doing the commercial and he's translating. <laughs> he's doing everything in Spanish. And then Fred's like, you big, and he's, why don't you shut up? It's it's one of the most, I would probably say in top 30 episodes, That's that has one of the best where they do the commercial with the pool scene and you're out there and you got the guy who played Mr. LeDuc. Danny, he's out there and he's filming the commercial and he's all mad at them and they shove him in the pool. So that's a memorable. And then the final one I would have to say is when they go to the restaurant where he's like, hey, Lamont doesn't want him to go. Julio's like, ah, you'll love it. And he talks about, ah, he says the food and Fred's like, I know I'm going to need a shot after that. And they sit there and he's like, hey, Negro. And he's like, what did you call me? Don't look like no Negro to me. But, and then they sit there and he takes the uh, sangria and he thinks it's blood. Another great scene, like those, when I think of Julio, those are the three episodes that pop up, but it's always his kindness and it's always his patience patience that I absolutely love about the character. I am so sad that Julio left, but unlike Melvin, who I absolutely wish had more of, uh, um, at least we got three years of Julio where there's so many different memories. There's so many good things with Julio. 
So that's it on Sanford and Son. He's there for three seasons. Where does he go from there? He goes on to another show, which is was a big hit for two seasons. He was a detect, uh, sergeant detective on Barney Mi Yeah, Barney Miller, right? I almost said, see, I always want to keep calling it Barney B. Jones. Yeah, he went on to be uh, Barney Miller. Barney Miller. But yeah, sometimes I get, I want to call him Barney B. Jones. But he went on Barney B. Miller for two seasons, had a very good uh, time there. The show was flourishing. And so that worked out well. Now let's get to some of the other stuff he did as we go to the notes. In 1984, he became a main cast member on Miami Vice. So Miami Vice takes off. And something that Gregory uh, was really good at was playing either military, which he did in multiple shows, and a police figure, to, you know, being a police officer. Because he has that stern look. He can pull off, com that's why I like Gregory Sears so much. He can pull off comedy. He can pull off sentimental and kind or he could pull off very stern and very like a dictator leadership or authoritarian authoritarian role so he played that now the problem was he didn't like living in miami so after this is crazy after only four episodes into the series and it's a big hit series and he, maybe he didn't know that either way he's like no i want out so he said hey can you guys write me out of the show and then john uh what is it Something almost. I, his name is when you're filming, your name escapes. Anyway, someone else come in and took over as a new detective, and he got written out of the show. He didn't want to be in Miami, so he went on from there. Then he went, like I said, only lasted four episodes. Disappointing. Would love to see him in that hit show longer. Then he went on to uh, Soap. Remember the the show Soap, the comedy uh, soap opera type thing. He went on that for the fourth and final season, so he was a character in that as well. And listen to this. In between there, he was in a show called. Something is out there. I had never seen it I'm using that and I love this one Zorro and Son That's got to be a record. I mean who else how many of shows out there exist that are something and Son and he was in Sanford and Son and Zorro and Son So that is very to me very funny and ironic that he did both shows that had a character and son So he did those So we talked about that in 1992 Greg Rosier went on to a, in a movie. This is now we'll list some of the movies he did later in his career Deep Cover with Lawrence Fishburne, big time actor, right? Matrix and uh, also Pee Wee's Playhouse, for those who might not remember. And Jeff Goldblum from a thousand movies, you know, Jeff Goldblum's everything. So he was in that and I think, I want to say he was a drug dealer or someone like that in that movie. He went on to do uh, Honey, I Blew Up the Kids, Hot Shots Part Do. So he's doing some co family, co it's a very serious movie, the first one. Uh, deep cover and then he's doing some family with honey i blew up the kids then he's doing comedy with hot shots part two now so those are some of the other movies he had done uh now let's get to the tv shows he had done later in his career listen to these these shows we've all known him and sometimes he would have different characters but in the same show right the re the character actors the reoccurring tv shows included mod squad kung fu mission impossible hawaii 50 these are all big time shows gun smoke the Greatest American Hero, one of my favorite shows as a little kid. The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. So look at the different eras he's he's going through. X-Files, Murder, She Wrote. He was six different characters in Murder, She Wrote. You can see it right there. I'll pass it on the, the screen right there. Six different people he played in Murder, She Wrote. Heart to Heart, another great uh, action romance comedy slash. Hill Street Blues. And so those are all listed as TV shows. They left one show off. And I'm a huge, gigantic fan. If you've heard me talk about it anytime I've mentioned it with Julio, he was also in the show MacGyver. I actually, MacGyver is one of my favorite shows. It's up there with Andy Griffith, Sanford and Son, you know, all those things. I have probably about a dozen shows that are like, what's happening, shows that I, Three's Company that I love to watch. And MacGyver is probably one of my all-time favorites. Watching it when I was in junior high and high school. Absolutely love MacGyver. But he was in that. Both times he was a general. A bad guy general. And so that's why I said he's really good at playing those type of characters. I mean, he had such a large repertoire. He was very good. And I absolutely loved Greg Sierra And all the things that he did that I did see. He was always... When he was on the screen, I was interested. And you wouldn't even think, right? Like, my kids have watched the shows. They, when they see MacGyver, they don't go, Oh, that's Julio. And they know Julio. And they're like, they, it doesn't, it doesn't dawn on him because he's got the hair slipped back or he's got on a hat and he's stern and he's mean and he's just totally can change the character where unless you are a diehard, you might even, you might even miss it. So with all those, that is it. You know, oh, he did do Star Trek Deep Space Nine. He did that show. Look at the picture on here. I don't even recognize him. 
I didn't I didn't watch uh, Deep Space Nine. I didn't watch really a lot of. I watched the original Star Trek and then some other stuff, and I saw some of the movies. But this series I did not watch. But had I seen this picture here, I would probably have no idea. Unless I, if he talked with some kind of accent, I would have no idea that, that was Gregory Sierra. So that does it for Gregory Sierra, one of the all-time greats from Sanford and Son. Fun fact, we got so many facts. There's got to be something. Comment below if you finished to the end. Thank you very much for, again, with, to watch the whole thing. But if, if there's anything here you learned, you did not know, share it. Say, hey, you know what? I didn't know that, or I didn't know, I didn't know that. <laughs> but if you didn't know it, let me know about it. Did you enjoy it? And like I said, please give a like if you did get this far. And look for more stuff. Our channels continue to grow, and I love it. Talk to you guys later. Have a great Friday. Have a safe weekend. And go watch some football and spend time with family. Talk to you guys later. Peace. See you, Red.